Hey y'all, welcome back to Fly to 50, No Spaces. I'm Fly.D and I am back with another video. Y'all, this video is a little late, but I'm finally getting it up. It is my March eyeshadow rankings. These are the eyeshadows that was in my makeup basket for the month of March. And now I'm going to be ranking them on how I like them. I have a total of 19 eyeshadow palettes, y'all. But I wanted to remind you what I'm looking at, how I'm judging these eyeshadows. Because, number one, none of these eyeshadows are going in anywhere. I, I like them all. They all just had to fall into the rankings somewhere, okay? So I'm looking at them for if they go light to dark. Do they have a good transition color for me? Do they have a deepening color for me? Do I love the color story? Does it feel good? You know, not too dry, not too flaky. You know, if I really like what the formula feels like. Are they, do they have good mattes, good shimmers? What's their formula like? <clears throat> price. Price is kind of low because if I really, really like it, price... Mm -mm. You know, unless it's a million dollars, you know, I can't get that. But anyway, is it unique or appealing? My excitement level when I'm using it, does it inspire me? And lastly, how easy is it to get? Like, is it a is it limited edition? I love it. I don't want to, you know, that kind of stuff. So these 19 eyeshadow palettes are judged and ranked according to that. Like I said, I really like them all. They're all staying in my collection. It's just that they had to fall somewhere in the ranking. Okay, let's get started, starting at number 19. And I am gonna put swatches in the video and hopefully pics of all the looks I created. Sometimes I, I don't, sometimes my phone gets so full, I have to delete stuff and then I'm like, oh, I deleted that one by accident. So hopefully I have the ball. Okay, all right, coming in at number 19. Number 19 is the Alamar Cosmetics Destino Palette. I got this in a uh, mystery box from Alamar Cosmetics and it's a, it's a good palette. It's not really nothing special. The shimmer's okay, the mattes are okay, um, and I like the look I made. Nice packaging. And these are the colors. They are pretty. Coming in at number 18 is the Lois Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underworld. It's another okay palette. It has regular mattes, regular shimmers. I did come out with a pretty look that I like. Um, minimum fallout. The color story is good. It's really good for everyday looks not really much more I can say the next palette I have is from Colourpop it's an oldie but goodie uh -huh, honey it's, a, it's still a good formula I did change mine around I put this deepening shade in there but it is pretty it's a uh, older formula this is Colourpop's older formula but this is still a good palette so yeah that's uh-huh honey. The next two are also ColourPop palettes. They're older formula, but they're still good. The first one is Orchid You Not. Now this palette is pretty monochromatic, which is pretty. I like the color story. The mattes are a little dusty, but they perform well. And the shimmer is okay. It's a pretty color story though. I really like it. Some things just can't. They just don't compare when you're thinking about the eyeshadow formulas that are coming out these days, you know? All right, this next one is also monochromatic. It's their wine and only palette. It has, this, it's the same, dusty mattes, performs well. Their older formula, but I just like this color story better than the Or Kid You Not or the Uh Huh Honey, and that's why they fell where they did. All right, coming in at number four, 14 is the Gourmand Girls Silent Night Palette. This is a very pretty palette. Nice mattes and shimmers. Some of the shades are kind of similar, but 
they're still all pretty. The two mattes blues and the two shimmer blues are kind of similar, but, but it's still a good palette and I enjoyed using it. Coming in at number 13, I have the Lunar Beauty Eternal Eclipse palette. Now I said it before, I'll say it again, Lunar Beauty has one of my favorite formulas. This, this one, the shimmers are matte, so on the dry side, but they are still performing fantastic. One of my favorite brands, it's just, you know, on another day I might rank these all different, but I just was not feeling the dark look that I created with this. So that's why it's, it fell where it fell. Coming in number 12, I have my Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. It still performs well, I've had it a while. It gives pretty sunrise or sunset looks. Definitely her old formula, but still great. Coming in number 11, I have Ace Butte's Paradise Fallen. It's a beautiful purple color story. It's a beautiful purple color story. I do like purples. It's a dark palette, kind of cool tone and neutrals. I liked it, but it's not my favorite Ace Beauté palette, but I like that it has a dark black and a dark navy blue in there to darken it up. Very nice. Now let's get to the top 10. Coming in at number 10 is the ABH Jackie Ina palette. I love this palette, it's very nice. But you know, it's the older formula, so it doesn't perform as well as a lot of the newer eyeshadow palettes I have. The mattes are dry, but these are great. This is a great color story for dark skin. Still happy I have this one. I'm gonna use it for as long as I can. All right, coming in at number nine. This is a palette I wasn't supposed to get. I, I, I said, no, I'm not getting it, but I ended up getting it. And that is the Natasha Denona, I Need a Nude. You know, yes, it only has one deepening color. It only has one deepening shade for that makes it accessible for people with dark skin, but you cannot deny that this formula, these mattes and these shimmers are outstanding. I really like them. It's, it's pretty much almost a one trick pony for me because of the lightness, but I am glad I have it and I do like using it. All right, y'all, coming in at number, where, where am I at? Okay, coming in at number eight is this baby. This is the, this is the Danessa Myricks Light Work 5. Y'all, the colors are beautiful. She listened to us when we said we did not like that metal roll from the light work that came before them. These are all beautiful. But I, I can say some of the shadows are not beginner friendly. And also, I think you have to make sure you use a sticky base to use this or, or, or glitter glue to make sure it stays on your eyes all day because they're so creamy they will move around on your lids. The next palette coming in at number seven is this little baby right here from Reban. Reban I think it's it's a new brand or newer brand that's at Ulta. It's just a four pan palette but y'all know how I feel about creamy eyeshadows. Oh my gosh it's so creamy the orange one fell out because when I got it they were it was broken, but yeah, this is, this is it. I'm going to be careful. There it is. This is a saw. This is a, I love the creamy mattes. It has what? How many mattes? Two mattes. It has two mattes, two shimmers. They're both so creamy. It's pretty. You get a soft look, but it is pigmented. Picks up well on a brush easily. You can use your brush or your fingers. It is just a nice, cool little palette, and I'm glad I have it. I hope it doesn't dry out on me, but it is so cute. Coming in at number six is the Hershey's Milk Chocolate 12 color palette. This is such a nice 
brown chocolatey palette. I love it. It's nice, neutral, warm, and some of the colors are cool palette. Mm, but is it a dupe for their burger palette? I will be investigating that. I have to spray the shimmers because they are not smooth similar to their highlighters where, where it has a little bit of flake but once you spray it it is good and i think this is a great palette for black women top five all right coming in number five i have the adept cosmetics element 115 palette their little alien palette it just looks like spring and easter to me I love the paisley tone. It is very pretty. And the mattes are good. Very nice shimmers. I love them. I love the mattes. They put in here those colors. I can use this palette on its own or use it as a companion palette. I would take this and just one neutral palette. Boom, I'll be good to go. Coming in at number four is ColourPop's C3PO palette. This palette is so pretty. I really like this little palette. I love the looks. And I think it's what AHA Honey wanted to be back, way back when. But you know, there's a time for everything. So look at that, that is very lovely. Just bright and sunny and ready to be used for the spring and the summer. All right. Top three. Coming in at number three, I have the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Mega Celestial Nirvana Palette. This big chumpy right here. I mean, it's Pat McGrath. What else can you say? Great mattes, great shimmers. This one is a bit colorful with some neutral, so you can pretty much do what you want in here. So very nice not much else you could say about pat mcgrath all righty top two coming in at number two is the unearthly cosmetics fairy frolic palette now i had the one when they were still oh, what is it? they were still alien cosmetics i got this but and they they still have this palette it's just it just looks different but the colors inside is is the is the gem right now. Look at the this is such a beautiful color story. This is a perfect palette for someone to, in my opinion. This is a perfect palette for somebody who wants to delve into color but you know a little scared about it, not not sure what to do. This is so beautiful. I really really love this palette. I enjoyed using it. Everything performed so well and it was so easy to do. And I like the look I came up with too. Now for number one. The number one palette that I use in the month of March is Inslee Rain Cosmetics Groovy Garden. Y'all, I know that when you're swatching, a swatch is not and does not mean it's going to perform with your eyes so well. But these mattes, when I swatched them, I was like, well, who made these mattes? They were so good for swatching and when I use them on my on my on my lids. It they were so amazing. So to me, those are the standouts in this palette. The shimmer roll is great too, but the standout in this this palette are the mattes. I'm glad I have them because they go from light to dark so I can use this palette with my other palette for, from them that I feel that is kind of dark. But y'all, this, this is beautiful. I don't, I just don't know what else to say. I never raved about mattes before, but y'all, these mattes are so good. All right, y'all, that is it for my March ranking. Let me know down below if you tried any of these palettes and how you felt about them. I feel, I feel pretty comfortable with how I rank them, but like I said, at a different time of year, a different month, I might re re rearrange this all around. But yeah, this was fun to do, and it, it, it does get easier 
the more you do it because because ranking is hard. I'm just glad I got that criteria that I use. That helps me too. But y'all, let me stop. Let me start rambling and let y'all go because I still got a, another video to edit that's getting on my nerves. But yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. And until I see you in another video, stay fly, sis.